All right, it's time now for French Connections, our weekly look at the intricacies of French life with our very own Florence Villeneuve. Florence is known around the world. I was going to say Florence is known. <laughs> France is known around the world for its cuisine. Of course, it is. Uh, uh, this week, uh, uh, Michelin uh, released its very famous 2016 Michelin Restaurant and Hotel Guide. Over 100, how many pages does it have? 2,100 pages in it. And it really has a nickname of the Gourmet's Bible. That's right. Now, in a country that worships food like France, the annual release of the Michelin Guide is pretty much like the Oscars. It's all about the stars, the stars of the cooking world, and uh, it's arguably the most important event in the cooking world, and every year it sparks a major media frenzy and fierce debates about who won and who lost. And it's so great to see the Michelin man we just <laughs> saw there in those pictures. Now, if you're not familiar with the Michelin Red Guide, it's actually the oldest hotel and restaurant guide in Europe. That's right. The tire manufacturer Michelin actually published the first first edition in 19 19- Hundred And what's interesting is at the time, the goal of the guide was actually to boost demand for cars and therefore tires. Of course, that would have been interesting for Michelin. But since the guide has really developed into arguably the most prestigious uh, restaurant guide in the world, and it even puts out guides for other countries like Italy, the UK, Germany, and even big cities like New York and Tokyo. Now, it's so great the way that they review the Michelin has this mysterious team of inspectors. They visit, they review thousands of restaurants every year. That's right. And they're completely annoying. Anonymous. Uh, now, they're anonymous to the restaurants they're uh, reviewing, of course, but they're even anonymous to many top executives in Michelin, and they're even anonymous to their families. Their families don't know what their real jobs are. Now, they uh, rate restaurants according to uh, some very specific criteria, freshness of ingredients, cooking creativity, quality of service, and price-quality relationship, and they have a very interesting prize for the top restaurants, and that is a star, une étoile. Uh, it's actually our word du jour, étoile. Sometimes it's also called a Michelin macaron here in France, but it's essentially a star uh, that uh, is the holy grail of the cooking world. So tell us a bit more about this star system. How does it work? Well, there are three star categories. The first star, the one star, goes to a a very good restaurant in its category. Uh, Two stars is for excellent cooking worth a detour, and three stars exceptional cuisine uh, worth a special journey. I'll get out of the way there. You can see it. (laughs) Now, this year, the guide uh, gave 600 stars uh, across France. Uh, There are 26 three-star restaurants this year, 82 two-star restaurants, and 492 one-star restaurants. But don't don't be mistaken, one star is really good. It's true. Even one star can really make or break a chef. Absolutely. Now, the stakes are really high because even just one star means more media attention and more reservations and more business. Now, let's listen to two star, uh, two chefs, rather, uh, reflecting on what getting a Michelin star means to them. Ça fait toujours plaisir de... I'm thrilled to have this third star. You work so hard. A whole team works so hard every day to win, to be the best. It means you get more customers and people come from a lot further away. It allowed us to develop our wine menu. Now, there is a lot about work and working so hard to be the best, thriving for perfection, but that intense pressure can be really too difficult at times. That's right. Some people actually liken haute cuisine to a pressure cooker that can have devastating effects. For instance, this year, the uh, Michelin uh, ceremony actually marked a minute of silence to pay tribute to this man. This is Benoit Viollier, uh, 44 years old. He uh, was a three-star chef. He mysteriously committed suicide last week just after being voted best chef in the world by another guide. And and his death reminded people of, of, of another tragic death. You just saw a photo of him. That was Bernard Loiseau. In 2003, he committed suicide because, uh, reportedly, because he was about to lose a star. Uh, And there's so much pressure uh, and competition that some chefs have actually gone so far as to hand in their stars to essentially just get out of the race altogether. Mm. It is so competitive, the world of haute cuisine. It's also often been accused of being a boys' club only. That's right. Now, this year, the Michelin Guide drew criticism because it didn't award a single star to a female chef. Let's listen to some reactions. First of all, the international director of the Michelin Guide explaining just why they didn't give a star to a woman chef. 
In all the restaurants we visited, we didn't find a woman who deserved a star. Year in and year out, our inspectors do the same job with the same methods and the same rigor according to the same criteria. Some years we have lots of women, some less. It's a very competitive profession physically. At one point, if women decide to concentrate on raising their children, they spend several years on the sidelines while the competition continues. There are exceptions, of course. Personally, I make a point of having women in my kitchens. Now, the man you just saw is Alain Ducasse. He is one of the most decorated chefs in the world, and he famously said, you can live without a Michelin star, but life is much better with a Michelin star. And he has uh, several, so good for him. Now, like all institutions, the Michelin Guide uh, has its critics. Uh, some people say that the, the rating system is too biased uh, in favor of French cuisine. Some even go further and say it's a tool of Gallic cultural imperialism. Uh, now, like it or not, though, the Michelin Guide is a very handy tool for na navigating the wonderful world of French gastronomy. It'll definitely put stars in your eyes and make you hungry in the process. Absolutely. It looks just great. Thank you so much for that, Florence Villeneau. And if you have any questions about France or things you'd like us to explore here in this segment, French Connections, feel free to tweet Flo at Flo Villeneau. You can also check out our website on France24.com.